1 Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I have given unto you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice after supper, saying, This chalice is a new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Nice to see you all this beautiful morning. And the Mass today has been offered for Sandra Kennedy. I knew Sandra well. She worked for Sadler. She was in the convent with Danielle. She died recently. So as we celebrate her entry into eternal glory, we're reminded in the reading today about the resurrection. Let us call to mind our sins and pray especially for all our loved ones who have gone before us and now share in the resurrection as we acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection, the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have prepared a place for us in heaven. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Be almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Sandra Kennedy. Keep your faithful safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if Christ is preached and raised from the dead, how can some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, then neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then empty too is our preaching, empty too your faith. Then we are also false witness to God, because we testified against God that he raised Christ whom he did not raise, if in fact the dead are not raised. For if the dead are not raised, neither has Christ been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is vain. You are, all, you are still in your sins. Then those who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If for this life only we have hoped in Christ, we are the most pitiable people of all. But now Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruit of those who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Hear, O oh Lord, a just suit. Attend to my outcry. Hearken to my prayer from lips without deceit. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Show your wondrous mercies, O Savior of those who flee from foes to refuge at your right hand. Lord, when your glory appears, my soul will be full. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. But I in justice shall behold your face. On waking, I shall be content in your presence. Lord, when your glory appears, my joy will be full. Please stand. Hallelujah! 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 Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every day as a priest, I deal with people dying. You know, death and dying is a big part of our ministry. And I don't know what I'd do if we didn't have the good news of the resurrection. Because the centerpiece of our faith is that we are an Easter people. Hallelujah is our sign. We are here on earth to know, love, and serve God so we can be with God for all eternity. And St. Paul puts it beautiful in today's, in today's first reading. If Christ has not been raised, then in vain is our faith. But what, what gives meaning and purpose to this life is knowing that it's a preparation for the life to come. And it's something to very much look forward to. And it's nice to know that all our loved ones, all our family members who have gone before us are gone to glory to live like the angels and to be with God for all eternity in heaven. That's the good news of our faith. We are a people destined for heaven. And I love the gospel. Jesus going around preaching. And of course he had the men, but he had a lot of good women helping him. And I love the last line in the gospel. They provided for them out of their resources. I mean, isn't it, nothing has changed too much in the church since the time of Jesus. Just look around here this morning. How many men are here? How many women? There's almost three uh, women for every man. Who, who does 90% of the work around here? It's the women. I don't know what we do without the women around here. We very much appreciate the contribution that the women make and uh, the, the goodness of, of, of women in our church is fantastic. And so today we, 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 we see the example of the women with Jesus and it continues. So long may it continue. And I want to say a special thanks to all the people who have been recording our Mass for us. Since the coronavirus, you know, a lot of people have been watching us on the World Wide Web. Uh, you know, any one day there's six to eight hundred to a thousand people watching us. And it's a lot of work involved for the people involved in doing it. And the Shadlers, Dave Beedy, David Eckert, and Terry Sullivan have been doing a great job. Now we need help. So I'm appealing to all of you watching, we need volunteers to be able to record the Mass every day so we can continue to put it out to people outside of our parish. I would love if we had three volunteers because it's a lot of work. It's six Masses a week. So if each one could record two Masses, Dave Beattie will teach you how to do it. You, you have to record it. The easy part from what I gather is to come and record it. All you have to do is press a button. But uploading and editing, that's where it's more complicated and you have to have the right internet to do it. Uh, the internet here in the church is not strong enough to do it. We have to do it at our houses. I mean, you can do it at my house, that's plenty good enough, but um, it's not strong enough here at the church. So we need, we need uh, uh, I think I have one volunteer already, so we need two more volunteers so that the recording of the Mass can continue. So anyone watching, Please call if you're available in the morning time to uh, record our Mass uh, for us because it's, it's a very important ministry. And if we don't have volunteers to do it, then we stop doing it. That's it. I can't do it. Uh, Jesus needed people to do his work. I need people to do the work. So now the ball is in your court. So please step up and answer the call of Christ to make the Mass available to the people that have been enjoying it so much. Let us stand in for it. Let us pray for Sandra Kennedy. May she rest in peace. And we remember all those involved with providing material for catechesis. That was Sandra's uh, big mission, providing material through uh, Sadlier to help the young people grow up in the faith. Uh, may they find the key uh, and be successful in handing on the faith to the young people. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray that we can have lots of volunteers to record our Mass and put it up on YouTube for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers.
for all the faithful departed. We remember especially Bill, um, Deacon Bill Brazell's mom and Diane Calmas, our funeral masses today. May they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the people, especially in Alabama and Florida, that are dealing with the aftermaths of the hurricane, we pray that uh, they will be able to rebuild in a very uh, timely manner. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For God to keep us safe from all hurricanes and natural disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And we remember all the people who are dealing with forest fires throughout the world, especially those in Oregon and California and in the Arctic. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For a cure for cancer, for Alzheimer's, for the coronavirus, and other catastrophic illnesses, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pause now and make our own special needs known to God. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We lift up in prayer all our sick, those who have asked for special prayers. We thank you for your blessings. Help us to do your will this day and to keep aiming for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. O oh Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that there may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we're made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we're washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. O holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And today to appreciate the Eucharist we have a quote from St. Basil. St. Basil the Great was born in the year 330. Basil said, To partake of the holy body and blood of Christ is good and beneficial. For he says quite plainly, He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Who can doubt that to share continually in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered with him into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, of uh, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, the King, the power and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of the teaching of my word, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. By Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for our end. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I sure am glad I'm done. Really, these people that are so smart, these scientists, that they they don't believe in in God. Um, so you, what they believe is that a couple of billion years ago, uh, there was this ball of ice floating around in space, and then a, a big, big ball of fire exploded, and and the, they went all over space. And, oh, where did the ball of ice and the big, big ball of fire come from? 
You're asking hard questions now. <laughs> we, we don't want we don't want hard questions. Anyway, one of these balls of fire that came from this supernova okay, went through space rolling and and it took a couple million years, but it, it slowed down and it stopped. And it stopped 93,200,000 miles away from this ball of ice. And after a couple hundred thousand years, the ball of ice, all the ice melted and became puddles. And of course, today we call them oceans. But uh, you, you, you understand all this? Oh, and, and out of these puddles, a fish came and got up on the, the beach and um, flapped around and it, and it grew legs and arms and it came a man and the, this man on the sand looked over there and there was this lady fish uh, in a yellow bikini and he said, wow, I'm gonna go over there and say hi to her. <laughs> Isn't it so much easier to believe that God made the fish? God made the, the supernova, the ball of ice? And isn't it so much easier to believe that this young girl was implanted with a child by the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, and gave birth to our Savior, Jesus, who was crucified, who died, and who was raised from the dead. That's what today's reading is about. Jesus was raised from the dead. And guess what? You're gonna be raised from the dead. And I am too. Hopefully, we're gonna do it in the presence of that guy, Jesus. Hopefully, we'll all be together in that third morning. Very, very good, R.A. You don't look much like a fish to me, so I'd say you're right. God, God made you. Uh, got a cute email here, and it fits in with the theme of the readings today. A minister waited in line to have his car filled with gas or petrol just before a long holiday weekend. The attendant worked quickly, but there were many cars ahead of him. Finally, the attendant motioned towards him to, for a vacant pump. Reverend, said the young man, I'm so sorry about the delay. It seems as if everyone waits until the last minute to get ready for their long trip. The minister chuckled and said, I know what you mean. It's the same in my business. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Let us pray the prayer for the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, in the hearts of our faithful, and in the fire of our love. Same for the Spirit. Truly wise and ever enjoy this consolation through Christ our Lord.